From Cincinnati's WLWT, this is Macy's Light Up the Square. Brought to you by Macy's. Procter & Gamble, Cincinnati Bell, Lycans Energy Solutions, WGU Ohio, Q102, and 3CDC. Now, here are your hosts, Mike Dardis and Cherie Palello. Yeah, hey there, everybody. A Cincinnati tradition like no other, but with a new twist, as you can imagine. This is Macy's 2020 Light Up the Square Virtual Edition. This year's event may look a little bit different, but the joy, Cherie, and the fun, it is all the same. No doubt about it, and good evening to you, and happy holidays. I'm Cherie Palello. And it's a beautiful Friday night. Thanks for being with us. I'm Mike Dardis, beginning to look a whole lot like Christmas. You may not have had a chance to see it, but the Macy's tree is already lit right there on your screen, kind of in the background with the ice rink there. Yeah, and there are some other big surprises headed your way tonight, including some special additions to the UC Health ice rink, one that will be unveiled right here. And while we can't gather, unfortunately, like previous years, hopefully by next year, you still can expect a lot of fun and interactive ways to enjoy the show from there at home. Now, one new way to participate this year, bingo, I love this game. Hopefully you've downloaded and printed these bingo cards so you can play along at home, light up five squares in a row, and you are the winner. So we've posted the link so that you can print out the bingo card and also a signature drink recipe that sounds delicious right there on WLWT.com. We're lighting up the square. Other people are lighting up five squares. We also have this Zoom watch party. Hi there. How you doing? A lot of people are watching us live. You got to love Zoom in 2020. They are very festive. You can also share photos or video of your own light up decorations by using the hashtag LUTS that stands for light up the square of course LUTS 2020 and we're going to share some of them at the very end of the show. All right as you were saying the tree is already lit so that there are no big crowds down there on Fountain Square. But still some fun going on downtown Cincinnati people down there on the ice as we speak. In fact q 2s Freddie Mac and Natalie are downtown. Hi there and welcome to your first light up the square right? Down there on Fountain Square. But still some fun. Yeah. Yes, hi Mike, hi Cherie, happy holidays. We are Natalie and Freddie Mac, and this is our very first one. And it's actually Freddie's first first time to the city in general. His first time to Fountain Square and first time seeing the tree all lit up. I've heard all the hoopla about how how much this means to not only the downtown area, but the entire city of Cincinnati. I'm so excited to be here celebrating the holidays down here on Fountain Square. Well, we're super excited to have you and excited to be here. This is Q&R2's first time doing this virtual Mike and Cherie. Thank you so much for having us. And let me just say, this tree is the bell of the ball. It looks phenomenal. And great to see everyone is still at their ice skating. Absolutely. Guys, we love to have you. Freddie, you got lucky with the weather. Some years it's like in the 20s. So I got you got your hat ready to go. Thanks for being here. Enjoy the fun down there, guys. All right. Yeah, exactly. It's almost not fair. Yeah, we, got, we definitely have to have them back on a year when we're freezing out. We're there. in the studio when it's like in the 40s <laughs> down exactly. there on Fountain Square. All right. Well, the, as Natalie was saying, the star of tonight's show, of course, is the tree, much like it always is. Yeah, but this year she was talking about it looks great tonight. Wasn't always the case. Yeah. This year's tree was the talk of the town long before the first string of lights were installed. The tree was the butt of plenty of jokes on social media. This might have been the first impression you got of this year's Christmas tree down there at Fountain Square. Comments on our WLWT Facebook page, several comparing to Charlie Brown's Christmas tree, others saying that the tree is right on the mark with the kind of year we've been having in 2020. We're laughing about it here. It, it is funny. We, we know it's funny. But getting the tree from the ground and to its perch on Fountain Square really is a labor of love. And while things are looking very different because of this pandemic, the tree hunting process is much the same. Andy from 3CDC and Zucks Landscaping working together. The one on the left is 65 to 70. 70. And then this one here is, you know, 55 to 60. To find the perfect tree. So how do you even find a tree like this? In the winter time, uh, my guys went out each in a truck and we spent two weeks. And I gave him a map and said, OK, this is I want you to hit every road on this map. The hunt for the right tree happening over the course of several weeks. That's a good looking tree. I like this one. Up until the perfect moment. People will 
still want to get their family photos in front of it like they're used to. One of the best <laughs> glow ups of 2020, the tree, not looking like much when it first was delivered, but now ready to help usher in the holiday season, especially during a time when we need a lot more joy here this year. And of course, this tree could not have been made possible without all of the amazing sponsors. Thanks again for all you do and helping the holidays here in Cincinnati shine bright. And just like every year, the UC Health Ice Rink, it is one of the highlights there on Fountain Square. Yeah, you saw it already. It is open seven days a week through mid-February, but of course, due to the coronavirus pandemic this year, there are several new policies you do need to know about. So advanced reservations are required since only a certain number, number of people are allowed there on the rink at once. Masks must also be worn at all times. There is also a new attraction on the rink for those who are not so graceful on skates, like an elephant on roller skates here, but that's me, but are still looking to maybe have some fun out there on the ice. <laughs> WLWT News 5's anchors Stephen Albritton and Ashley Kirkland show us around. Mike and Tree, if you're anything like me, I'm not that great when it comes to ice skating, but now that there's this new attraction here at the ice rink, I don't have to miss out on all of the fun. Yeah, the UC Health ice rink has these amazing bumper cars for the first time ever. We're going to take you for a spin. I'm coming. <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> it doesn't go straight very fast. That way I can't bump into you like I really want to. I'm in a spin. In a flat spin. <laughs> okay, that was that made me dizzy. Ah, I missed! <laughs> if you want to ice skate or do these brand new bumper cars, reservations are required in advance. Just go to the My Fountain Square website. The cost is $15 per person. The rink hours vary based on the day and the type of session. Mike Cherie. You know, go. Steven is always so dapper and dressed up. I love seeing him in a sweater yeah. out there on the ice having fun they like had that. Fun. Yeah. I, we need to do that when we're mad at each other. No, that would be, <laughs> that would be dangerous. Well, <laughs> since we have so many of you right now tuning in from home and not there at Fountain Square where we can't gather as much, what better way to get into the Christmas spirit than with some real Christmas cheer? Yeah, so it's really easy to. This is what you need. Oh, one <laughs> bottle of New Rift Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey two cups of cinnamon simple syrup, one can of lemonade concentrate, one bottle of cranberry juice, one to two cans of ginger beer. And now let's go to Amy Tobin with New Rift Distilling as she walks us through the process. Well, thank you. I've got to tell you, this may be a different holiday than we've seen before, but there's no reason that we can't enjoy it like never before. Exactly. And Natalie, there's nobody else I would rather be making drinks with than you. Stop it. Thank <laughs> you. You're the master, so I'm just here to learn and enjoy. Well, you know, one of my fa favorite holiday toasts is, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you live with ease. And I am taking care of the ease part with this punch. It requires absolutely no measuring. So here we go, are you ready? You can yes. make or purchase a simple syrup, a cinnamon simple syrup. Cinnamon is really important in this recipe. And I'm gonna do half a bottle or two cups. Okay, there's a little measuring there. Then I'm going to do a full bottle of cranberry juice. So already we got the good color going on. Yeah, that's great. I feel like every holiday staple, a holiday, a Christmas staple is our cranberries. Absolutely. The actual cranberries. So, oh, I've got those coming later too. Now, here's a trick for cocktails, for punches, even for dressings and marinades. Frozen lemonade concentrate, full can, melt it. That's gonna add a whole burst of lemon flavor and just the right amount of sweetness. Okay, now here's the most important part. One full bottle of New Rift Distilling's flagship bourbon, bottled in bond without chill filtration. And is this the last ingredient? I've got one more. Okay, so this has been the best 45 seconds of my life so far. I know. Amazing. We want a little sparkle, a little ginger to really drive home the holiday flavor. One bottle of ginger beer. Okay, so you can repeat that all night long, can't you? Easy, easy. One, 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 and there you go. 
Hello, I'm Barbara Hauser, Senior Community Relations Manager at Procter & Gamble, and I'm so glad that you are here with us tonight as we kick off this 2020 holiday season in a unique way. Though we might not be together in person this year, we can still come together in spirit to light up the square in a special digital and, of course, social distance way. During these trying times, PNG is focused more than ever on uplifting our communities and each other by staying committed to being a force for good and creating a positive impact on those we serve. Cincinnati is not just PNG's headquarters, it's our home and we're proud to continue the traditions that make our community and this beautiful city shine. So from the PNG family to yours, we wish you the brightest and warmest holiday season. Hello, my name is K.L. Allen, Chancellor at WGU Ohio. WGU is excited to be a presenter sponsor at Macy's Light Up the Square and the title sponsor for the Warm Tent. WGU is an online accredited university offering over 60 degree programs for undergraduate and graduate degrees. On behalf of our 5,300 plus alumni, 4,100 active students, our faculty and staff in Ohio, we wish you and your family a safe and joyous holiday season. We agree with you there and taking you live right now downtown to the winter market. It's been going strong all day. Many people taking advantage here of this unique outdoor setting for some holiday shopping. So we're going to check in out there in just a few minutes. So. We do want to take the time to say thank you to Macy's for helping bring the magic of the holiday season right here, as usual, to Greater Cincinnati. So for the last 14 years, it has been so much fun to be a part of this show, and none of it would be made possible without the generosity and the commitment from Macy's. So again, thank you for all of these years of keeping the hope and joy of the holiday season alive. We certainly need it this year more than ever, right? No doubt about that. And once again this year, for every letter you send online, or drop in the big red letter box there at Macy's stores. Macy's will donate $1 to make a wish up to a million dollars. And your letter can make life changing wishes for local kids come true. Kids like 17 year old Grace, who just had a wish granted. Grace Pennington looks happy and healthy during our Zoom call. You'd never know that almost every day since she was six, she's had a seizure. Yeah, she had two or three this evening before dinner. Grace is 17 now, a senior at Fairfield, but she can't drive. Here lately, the little tiny seizures she has, she's been having upwards of 20 to 30 a day. They're getting worse as well. Um, she's had 20 of the big seizures this year alone. Walking across the street or taking a shower is a risk. And even though she is tough and positive. 
and I play video games. Um, I do have friends. They drive me places. <laughs> Her mom and dad, Beth and Tony, worry every single day that this seizure is going to be the one where she doesn't wake up. Some stranger in the line next to her caught her going down to the floor and protected my baby and they put her head on the loaf of bread that they had and, and there are still good people out there even in this COVID times he was willing to take yeah. the risk and, and do what needed he to be didn't done. Hesitate to help. Yeah, it's didn't hesitate. really it's really strange waking up on a loaf <laughs> of bread. <laughs> Grace finds strength and humor and her MMA fitness class it's been a game changer it's the one thing that gives her confidence. It's just nice feeling like I'm, I'm getting stronger and it's nice being out there by myself sometimes <laughs> to get away from our eyes. Get away from us. <laughs> so when Make-A-Wish called, Grace knew she wanted her own monkey bars to get stronger physically and mentally. I'm just so glad that she can do something that we never dreamt she'd be able to do. Yes, her big wish is to be free of seizures, but until then, Grace is grateful for the little things like monkey bars and raising awareness about epilepsy. My message is uh, don't ever give up, ever. She doesn't. She's one of the strongest people. What a pretty, pretty young lady and there. She is just so spunky yeah. and sweet. And, you know, as you can tell, mom and dad worried sick. They, they have adore her. baby monitors and cameras throughout the house because they're always worried. So write those letters to Macy's. And she is yeah. funny, especially that loaf of bread line. She has a sense <laughs> yes. of humor. Well, we've talked about the new additions there on Fountain Square. But there are plenty of other things to take advantage of downtown, like the Winter Market at Washington Park. And that's where we find WLWT News 5's Miana Massey tonight. Hi, Miana. Hey, so if you guys are looking for a unique shopping experience and even more unique gifts, then Washington Park is the place to be. Now, if you look, some of these vendors are shutting down because it'll just be a couple minutes before this market closed. But take a look at some of the video from earlier. Now, artists from all around Greater Cincinnati are set up selling everything from clothing, artwork, treats, and more. Social distancing will be practiced and masks are required. Now, the pandemic has hit a lot of these businesses super hard this year, so they are counting on the holiday season to really boost sales. So we've got a bunch of small businesses from over the Rhine and then also just kind of start up small businesses here selling their wares, everything uh, that you can put uh, check off your list. So the whole point of this is to get uh, more exposure for these small businesses, especially with it tomorrow being Shop Small Saturday. Yeah, and so this winter market is about to wrap up at 8 o'clock, but it will open back up tomorrow starting at 11 o'clock and go until 6 p.m. Now that's every Saturday and Sunday until Christmas. In Washington Park, Miana Massey, WLWT News 5. All right, Miana, looks so pretty out there. You know what else is cool is this right here. Checking back in live with the Zoom party. <laughs> Everybody's saying hello. I love it. Everybody's festive. Even the dog. Hey, happy uh, <laughs> holidays, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mary Eisnagel, Vice President of Marketing and Advertising for Lycans Energy Solutions. We're proud to be a major sponsor again of all the festivities going on on the square. What we know for sure after a year like this is that there is nothing more important than family. So snuggle up with your loved ones with a warm cup of hot cocoa and please think of us when you need heating oil or propane or any energy product for your home or business. From Lycan's Energy Solutions family to yours, happy holidays.
And welcome back. A live look from the UC Health Ice Rink on Fountain Square. Natalie and Freddie back from Q102. Hi, guys. Take it a spin around the rink. Yeah, Cherie's kind of like Dorothy Hamill or Nancy Kerrigan. And I voted for our radio partners to be skating because uh, I would basically crack the ice. <laughs> Now, unfortunately, to stay safe ahead of his big Christmas Eve trip, Santa couldn't join us here in the studio this year. But we're not going to go without Santa. You, ha you have to have Santa for a night like this. So wait a minute. Hold on. I'm hearing something. It's not the reindeer. It's something else. What is that? I'm familiar with that. Is oh, he calling us? It's a Zoom call. That's what that was. <laughs> 21st Santa, century. Via Zoom. Here's Santa. How you doing tonight? <laughs> Hello, Mike. Hello, Jerry. How are you all? Hi, Santa. We needed that ho, ho, ho after yeah. 364 days of waiting. Santa, first of all, how are those preparations going? They're going very well. We're, everything is going according to plan. Uh, everything is on normal schedule. And so the only thing I need to do is make sure that all the boys and girls are sending their letters. Don't forget that. Good reminder and so glad to hear there are no COVID delays for us. I'm wondering what's the weather like up there at the North Pole? Well, uh, I always, as a matter of fact, I checked with Kevin earlier. It's a minus five degrees today. It's very sunny, but still a little bit cold. Uh, it'll get colder, though, the closer we get to Christmas to the big day. Kevin says he wasn't impressed with the five below, right, by the way. Right. He's waiting till it gets 20 below. Santa, what is your favorite thing? I, you never ask a question like this normally, but unfortunately we do. What's your favorite thing to do in quarantine? Oh, well. You know, we uh, we have to test all the toys and the games normally, and so we've just been playing a lot of the games. Once they're tested and we make sure that they're all there and all the parts are, are assembled right, uh, we play a lot of the games. And then we watch some movies. Of course, Mrs. Claus loves the, the, the Hallmark Channel. And then we always make a point to have a big night that we watch Elf. <laughs> that movie gets me every year. My favorite, right? We, we watched that it too. last year. Yeah. It's our tradition. Santa, all right, so we're, we, we have to wrap up here, but what is your message to all the girls and boys watching right now? Hey, boys and girls, listen, I know it's been a crazy, crazy year, and a lot of things have changed and a lot of schedules, but be assured I'm still coming. I will show up. Happy holidays. I'm John Cranley, mayor of Cincinnati, joined by my son, Joseph. This has been a tough year. Normally, we'd be gathered in person enjoying this wonderful kickoff to the holiday season. But welcome this year to the virtual 2020 Macy's Light Up the Square evening. We want to thank Procter & Gamble and Macy's and Cincinnati Bell and & Likings and WGU for their sponsorship, because you can still come downtown safely just not in the huge close quarters that we normally would have. It has been a tough year and the vaccine is coming. And by spring, I believe that we'll be coming back to normal. But in the meantime, hug your loved ones close and find ways to enjoy this holiday season. For seven years now, my son and I have had the great honor of lighting up the Christmas tree. This year's different, obviously. But my son Joseph is here to deliver a message. We hope you have a happy Hanukkah, a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year, and overall, a special holiday season. He's getting so big. We see him every year. It's been like four or five years in yeah. a row. So Joseph, yeah. Happy holidays, <laughs> guys. Well, another annual tradition for many families, dinner down in the square there at Via Vitae. And so here with more of what Light at the Square means for them at the luxury restaurant is the owner, Christian Pietosa. The Avita has been open for 13 years. In 13 years, there's always been a few dishes that have never left our menus. For us, the Life of the Square has always been like the beginning of the holiday when everybody just comes in and just floods downtown Cincinnati. Walks around, luckily the weather is still pretty good. Hopefully we'll stay that way. And then from there on, it literally is the beginning of all the, the holiday season that carries on until New Year's Eve. And then we usually reset in January for the new year. This year, the resetting will be even more special than it's ever been. I think everybody's looking forward to that. Downtown Cincinnati has been an excitement year after year since 2007. We're very happy to be part of it. Shh, don't tell anybody. We're starting delivery soon. Shh, stay tuned.
That place is good, so deliveries will be happening. We are so thankful to all of you out there who stayed with us uh, over the years down there in Fountain Square and for sticking with us, of course, during the pandemic. And now for tonight's surprise, the new winter wonder lights down at the ice rink. You can check it out while you're out there on the rink, which is really the best place, of course, for you to take it all in. Take a live picture right now if we can. Normally, it looks pretty cool to begin with, but this year, even better. Look at the lights shining down there on the ice, Cherie. Yeah, really cool. It's just beautiful and I love that people came out tonight. Of course, you had to make your reservations and there are some people down there on the square. No, it's not the 10,000 people right. that we normally see out there live, but we'll be back doing all of that next year. In the meantime, I'm so glad that we got to still carry on this holiday tradition. I saw Freddie Mac going right by the camera there from Q102. And that, folks, is social distancing uh, down on Fountain Square. So before we go, a special thank you to all the sponsors who helped make this entire thing work. Macy's, Procter & Gamble, Cincinnati Bell, Likens, WGU Ohio, Q102, and of course 3CDC for putting on a great event. And thanks so much for watching WLWT. Good night and happy holidays to everyone.